Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to show you how to add an interior edge to an unstructured domain. So as you can see, I have a wing here, and beneath that wing there is a pylon. And if I remove that pylon, you'll notice that the wing does not have a hole poked in it that supports that pylon. So this pylon is essentially just sitting on top of this mesh. Okay, so maybe this is because I meshed the wing separately from the pylon and now I'm finally bringing them together. And rather than stitching them on the geometry level, I've already meshed them. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch them together on the mesh level. So to do that, I need to add an interior edge to this unstructured domain. So to do that, I'll select that domain and I'll go to edit, add, remove edges. And an unstructured domain must consist of at least one edge. And you can see that right now it consists of a single outer edge oriented in the counterclockwise direction in our scene. Now what I need to do is add this interior edge oriented in the opposite direction. And I can actually add any number of interior edges to support additional features, to provide refinement, and things like that. So to do this, I'm going to start selecting the connectors for this edge. And you'll notice that I've selected all of those connectors that would define that edge. And now what I need to look at is the orientation. So again, the outer edge is oriented counterclockwise and the interior edges need to be oriented in the opposite direction. So you'll notice that the interior edge is also counterclockwise. So I can click this button that says flip edge orientation. I can go ahead and save that edge and click OK. Okay, so now if I remove that pylon, you can see that there is a hole poked in that domain. Since we've added that interior edge and we add that pylon back in, these grids are now point matched and they are connected. Similarly, I can do the same thing on the upper surface, but in this case, I'm just going to add a connector for additional refinement. So I'm gonna take that connector that I just sketched on the surface, give it 200 points, and I'm gonna grab this domain and go to edit, add, remove edges. And to add a connector, you just select it twice. Select it once and then select it twice. You can see the arrows pointing in both directions. Save the edge and click OK. Adding a connector to an unstructured domain as an interior edge allows you to get additional refinement and control on the interior of a domain. And it's especially useful for things like capturing shocks or resolving features on the surface. So that's how you go ahead and add interior edges to unstructured domains. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.